Did I see this cross applesauce too? No. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> there you go. Put your legs down. Okay, I look goofy. Why are you making me feel goofy? Beautiful. 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 Welcome back, Emily. <laughs> Welcome back, Emily. We have some important news, if you do not already know. We're engaged. <laughs> Here's my ring. If you've never seen us before and you don't know who we are, let me explain. I am Cameron and this is Landon. And we met... We met... 2015, we were in eighth grade going into freshman year and on june 22nd 2015 he asked me to be his girlfriend and two years after that he got me pregnant and now we have a child together and we've been dating for three years now and we just got engaged so that kind of catches you up to speed and today i'm going to be telling you guys the story of how he proposed to me it was the 29th of june we, it was kind of a crappy day. Colette was crying all day, she was teething, I had to edit a lot of videos. So we really didn't really see each other or hang out all day. But we are like, since we both kind of had a crappy day, let's make a nice dinner and make it all better. So did you know that you were going to propose to me that night? Like you weren't planning on it? Like that wasn't, you weren't like, this is the day? In the back of my mind, I was like, I knew I need to propose to her very, very soon. Because I had the ring. And I was just waiting for the right time and the right mood. Yeah, so it wasn't like a pre-planned big thing. It was just kind of like when the right moment pops up. He had bought the ring before he came to visit me in Florida. I didn't mention this earlier, but we are in a long distance relationship. He lives in Texas and I live in Florida. He's here for the summer and he brought the ring to Florida. He bought it in Texas right before he came. So. He knew he was going to, he just didn't know when or how. So we made dinner, we had pork chops. I cooked it, um, or I tried to cook it, and we got it on a plate and took pictures. I'm like, okay, let's eat. And we cut it open and it was like raw. So <laughs> he raw. finished cooking it. and The master chef had to step in. After that. <laughs> and it was pretty good after that. Mm, and um, we just had a nice little chat over dinner. Pretty usual, pretty average day for us. Edit all day, he watches Colette, and I make dinner, and we eat dinner, and hang out. Um, so it just seemed like a normal day. She wanted to be in the video, so she was fussing. Hi Colette. You're here, you've arrived. Okay. <laughs> so after dinner, we kind of just hung out, having a really good conversation, and I don't know, it just, I just looked at him, and I like saw something click. Like, in his mind, he was like, it's time. I didn't know at the time what it was, but I knew that, like, when I saw his face, like, he was up to something. He was like, it's time. So we're in his room, and he tells me, like, just go wait outside the door. And I'm like, what? Why? And he's like, just go. Just go wait outside. I have to do something. I was like, okay. He steps outside his room, and he's like, follow me. And he brings me out to the dock. And um, at this point, the sun has set. It is nighttime. So we get to the dock. There's sort of lights on the water, and it's just super romantic. And I know that something like stranges up because Landon isn't a super romantic guy. So when he does something romantic, it's like, what are you doing? <coughs> We're just sitting and talking on the dock, and just having a really good conversation. Um, very good vibes, but I could tell Layla was very nervous and he just kept kissing me and saying how much he loved me and I'm like Okay, seriously, what's going on? <laughs> and I started to kind of piece it together in my head that he might be proposing. So we end up slow dancing It's so romantic and our song ended up coming on which is Perfect by Ed Schroen and during the whole song like I could just feel like we were dancing and he was just like fiddling with his pocket and I'm like okay he's definitely about to <laughs> and I, I didn't want to ruin the moment so I just like pretended like I was completely oblivious <laughs> at one point he like 
pulled the ring out and was looking at it from like over my shoulder and I could kind of tell and I was just like, oh, we're just dancing. <laughs> he accidentally like closed the box really loud and I was like, oh, what was that noise? <laughs> but I knew it was probably a ring box. Did you think that I was completely oblivious? Were you scared? That I, I didn't know you knew. I knew. At the end of the song, he just started telling me a little speech about how much he loved me and Colette. Telling you how much I love you and how great our family is and how beautiful our daughter is and how great we are together and how I want to be with you. Yeah, and then the song ended yeah. and it's like, you look perfect. And he got to one. <laughs> right, that's the song ended. We both started crying. I was like crying, he was crying. And he was like, <laughs> and then I said yes and put the ring on my finger and it's very pretty. I love it. And I was just jumping up and down. I was so happy. We like dramatically kissed and it was just so magical and perfect and I wouldn't have wanted to have it any other way. I originally told him like when we were talking about it before I was like if you propose to me you have to film it but he didn't and I'm kind of glad he didn't because it was just such a personal time that I felt like, I don't know, I wouldn't want it to be ruined by like having to act a certain way or feel like I have to like, I feel like I have to play it up for the camera and like, you know, know that there's a hundred thousand people that are going to watch this. You feel? Yeah. And it was, it was a very personal thing and we're both very just like... I don't know how to explain it. Like, I wouldn't have wanted anyone else there. I wouldn't have wanted my family there. It, I, yeah, it was perfect. It was a perfect proposal for us and our relationship, and I wouldn't have wanted a big thing. I'm just not that kind of girl. I'm engaged now, and I'm super happy. Yeah. What do you think, Colette? Your parents are engaged. What are you going to tell the fans? If you're like... Yay, my parents are engaged with him. <laughs> Give me a flower girl. Give me a flower girl. So I feel like we should just go out and answer a few questions about when the wedding is going to be and this and that and just questions you guys are probably wondering. The first one would be, does this mean that Landon is moving in or I'm moving to Texas or anything like that? I still plan on going back to Texas. We're trying to save up now so that way when we turn 18 we can just move in right away. What was our family's reactions? We are okay. So after we got off the dock and everything, we were like, let's just enjoy the rest of the night and not tell anyone until tomorrow and just enjoy being engaged without like worrying about what people are gonna think. And then the next day, I texted my mom. I wanted to tell her in person, but she was at the nail salon and I was just too excited and anxious. So I just texted her and I was like, I'm engaged. I sent her a picture and I was really scared of what she was going to say. Um, but she said, congratulations. And then I called my dad. I knew that he would be fine with it. And I was like, sorry, I didn't ask you. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing because he did not ask for my father's permission. But we both kind of knew my father would be fine with it. So we told him and he said congratulations as well. And then we told Lan's parents, he texted them, and they said congratulations. We were scared that our family was going to think it was too early, but everyone was pretty much just happy for us. Yes, everyone was very happy. And, and then we told Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you're definitely missing important things like engagement announcements, stuff like that. So I recommend following me on there. Next question is, when is the wedding going to be? So we're planning about a year and a half or two years, just kind of depending on how things pan out. Probably two years because we want to get married in the summer. The summer of 2020 is when we are planning the wedding for. And the last question would be, like, what are the wedding plans? So we pretty much decided right off the bat we do not want a big wedding. We don't have a lot of friends, so it'd be kind of hard to do a big wedding even if we wanted one. 
So we are gonna have a small personal little wedding. If you do not know this, I grew up in Hawaii and I love Hawaii, I have my heart, I want to move back there as soon as we can afford it. And Landon's never been, so I definitely want to honeymoon in Hawaii, but obviously that's going to be really expensive. We decided to have a very small, cheap DIY type of wedding just in my backyard and just have it be very small and just very cheap. <laughs> so we can save money for honeymooning in Hawaii. So yeah, that is the wedding plans. And we're just so happy and excited. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next vid, Kimberly. everybody.